Be polite, be professional, but have a plan to kill everybody you meet. No better friend, no worse enemy. There is only one retirement plan for terrorists. I don't lose any sleep at night over the potential for failure. I cannot even spell the word. Engage your brain before you engage your weapon. PowerPoint makes us stupid. I don't want anyone to think that a lack of shooting makes you peaceful. There is nothing better than getting shot at and missed. It's really great. I don't have the best track record with quotes. You go into Afghanistan, you got guys who slap women around for five years because they didn't wear a veil. You know, guys like that ain't got no manhood left anyway. So it's a hell of a lot of fun to shoot them. Find the enemy that wants to end this experiment in American democracy and kill every one of them until they're so sick of the killing that they leave us and our freedoms intact. Now from a distance, I look back on what the Corps taught me to think like men of action and to act like men of thought. Be the hunter, not the hunted. Never allow your unit to be caught with its guard down. Engage your brain before you engage your weapon, but once you engage that weapon, do so violently and decisively with full force and commitment. For a sitting United States president to see our allies as freeloaders is nuts. It's not an easy course. It's not designed to be. We're not here to get you in touch with your inner child. No war is over until the enemy says it's over. You cannot allow any of your people to avoid the brutal facts. If they start living in a dream world, it's going to be bad. To Marines, love of liberty is not an empty phrase. Rather, it's displayed by blood, sweat, and tears for the fallen. Demonstrate to the world there is no better friend, no worse enemy than a United States Marine. You go into combat, and it's like walking down a dark alley with a big, fierce dog. If you show fear, it will bite you. But if you don't show fear, it will protect you. The first time you blow someone away is not an insignificant event. That said, there are some assholes in the world that just need to be shot. It's a lot easier to stay idealistic if you don't sign two to five next of kin letters every day. There are hunters and there are victims. By your discipline, cunning, obedience, and alertness, you will decide if you are a hunter or a victim. There is no God-given right to victory on the battlefield. You win that through the skill and the devotion, the valor and the ferocity of your troops. It is not scientifically possible to accurately predict the outcome of an action. To suggest otherwise runs contrary to historical experience and the nature of war. Ultimately, a real understanding of history means that we face nothing new under the sun. No one gives a damn what Iran thinks on any significant issue. The only reason Iran is at the big boy's table is because of their nuclear weapons program. 
It's very hard to live with yourself if you don't stick with your moral code. Iran is not a nation state, it's a revolutionary cause devoted to mayhem. I was a Marine for 41 years, and it wasn't long enough. We enjoy putting on that uniform. We should not fight wars without a clearly defined end state. When you go to war, it can't be a half step. I consider ISIS nothing more than an excuse for Iran to continue its mischief. In a country with millions of people and cars going everywhere, the enemy is going to get a car bomb out there once in a while. The Iranian regime, in my mind, is the single most enduring threat to stability and peace in the Middle East. There are some people who think you have to hate them in order to shoot them. I don't think you do. I get a lot of credit these days for things I never did. An untrained or uneducated Marine deployed to the combat zone is a bigger threat to mission accomplishment than the enemy. I have the forces to squash the Iran military if I need to, but I've seen a lot of war and really don't want to kill young Iranian boys. Marines don't know how to spell the word defeat. You are part of the world's most feared and trusted force. When you go into battle, you enter a different world. I'm on record that it didn't really traumatize me to do away with some people. I've always found, give me a pack of cigarettes and a couple of beers, and I do better with that than I do with torture. I keep other people awake at night. If in order to kill the enemy, you have to kill an innocent, don't take the shot. Don't create more enemies than you take out by some immoral act. I come in peace. I didn't bring artillery. But I'm pleading with you, with tears in my eyes, if you fuck with me, I'll kill you all. James Mad Dog Mattis didn't mess around. Thanks for watching. We kindly ask you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We would really appreciate it. Again, thanks for watching.